Welcome to Talk Bowling, episode 129. I'm Dustin Seymour. I'm Tony Rucco. Talk Bowling is proud to bring you the latest information from the bowling industry, bowling tips, and updates from the world's largest bowling website, BowlingBall.com. Back again. We wear these shirts every day. Every single day. I have seven of them, plus two that I wear to sleep. <laughs> and then two others that we wear to bowling. Yes. And yes, my wrist is still broken. Hasn't healed yet. It's been two weeks, but uh, it's, all, it's about to come off. <laughs> it's about to come off. We're getting it off soon. <laughs> all right. Question from YouTube. Whenever I practice before league, I bowl too many games, burn out, and my lead score suffers. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. <laughs> yeah, he does. What, what are your tips for practice and practicing effectively? And that's from RiceGuy01 on YouTube. All right, RiceGuy. So you know we're going to say it. Don't burn yourself out before bowling me. <laughs> don't bowl before yeah. you bowl me. Well, you can bowl like I don't. I'm. If the center's big enough, we don't in Florida. We don't have a lot of opportunity to bowl before league. It's yeah. very strange down here. Like they're weird about you getting on the lanes, and usually the houses are full. We don't have huge houses in our area anyway. So um, I'm cool with bowling before league, but like just to loosen up, maybe shoot some spares. Make sure your approach, your slide sole, you know, like, just to kind of go through your checklist, not to, like, go out and bowl a three-game set before you're about to bowl league. Right. I, you know, I, I picture going, you're bowling three games before league, you're killing it. Oh, right. I know exactly where to stand. I know right. what line I'm going to play. Well, then you add nine other guys <laughs> to the lanes. And everything and goes within, down. <laughs> by the end of practice, it's totally different than what yeah. you bowled on. So, so I would just... Uh, Practice effectively if you're practicing before league. If you need to, it needs to be. Uh, gosh, I don't even know. Maybe ten shots. I mean, you know. Don't worry about your score either. Yeah, Just throw the ball. I would even turn that on. I would. I would go out. I would shoot some spares. I would make sure you're sliding okay. Make sure your thumbs feel good. You know, maybe throw a couple shots just to loosen up your hand and get kind of in the mood. You know, if like get your body on like. A different hand yeah. position you want to use that like try to a couple shots to make sure you have yeah it, I mean if you like, watch like and I relate it to any other sport and mostly because outside of being in bowling I my kids are very active and I watch a lot of sports but if you watch them no one goes through a full all-out you don't see pitchers don't pitch a full game they'll throw what you see they'll throw a little bit of warm-up and then they'll come out throw a few pitches on the mound and they're ready to go you know if you watch major league batting practice those guys take what maybe 15 swings they do some running, like do the same type of thing. Don't go full all out, burn yourself out, and be done for league. Yeah. I don't even. Well, we're probably bad examples. We just go out and get our five minutes or ten minutes of practice, and <laughs> Dustin has a couple beers, and then we get going. I should don't drink. When I'm going back. Stop. I don't. That's where I go. It's the only. I time. mean, every every once in a while, every other second of my life. Like, <laughs> I have, right now, I got forty of it. <laughs> yeah. Even we don't sell forties and four. <laughs> Recipe B. Um, Come on, homies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I hope that helps. I hope so, too. I'll ask the next question. All right, cool. Question from YouTube. When watching a ball reaction video, how can I compare one ball to the next? None of the bowlers bowl exactly like me, so how do I use them to my advantage? Well, I can't talk about every ball reaction video, you know, every right channel that does videos, right. but I know for us... We use the same conditions every time. Right. We try to use, you know, the same bowlers. Yeah, we have four bowlers right now right. that we rotate between. So, yeah. if none of us bowl like you do, you can still figure out the differences in the ball. So you want to watch, how long does the ball go down the lane before it reads? Right. What is the shape of the back end? You know, is it angular? Is it very smooth? You know, where is Tony standing compared to where he stood for another right. video that you watched? Whatever differences he's seeing, you're going to see if you were to do You should see similar differences, yeah. So, Dustin, yeah, I mean, we, we try and make it as easy as possible for you guys. So, the, the condition's the same. We use the same pair. Uh, we're always on lane one at the center we're at. So, the, the shot's the same. The lane is the same. The bowlers, we don't have ten bowlers. We have four bowlers that rotate between the videos. Um, a lot of times... You're just, like Dustin said, you're looking for some kind of similarity. So even if you don't throw it like me or you don't throw it like Dustin, but you own a ball that we shot a video on, take a look and see. And like, okay, I'm about five boards further right than Dustin on this house shot. And that may help you too. And a lot of times I look for, 
it's tricky because we do get to throw just about everything that comes out. But a lot of times I'm looking for how the ball is going through the pins and where it's going off the pin deck. I know that we're going to get the ball motion we're looking for. We haven't thrown a bad bowling ball in years. So the ball is going to roll good, whether or not it's going to roll early, late, you know, read the mid legs a little better. But if you look at where the ball finishes, that's telling you how it's driving through the pins. And that may help you more than watching the ball motion itself. Because that that's dictated by that ball motion. You, so you do have to look at those. You know, you have to look a little bit closer at it because you know you watch one video to the next. I mean, generally, generally we're standing in the same yeah. area no matter what ball we're throwing. I mean, that has to do with the lanes we're going on, the yeah. condition. It just that's how you're. That's where you stand to strike. You yeah, know, sure. and there's really subtle differences. If you if you look at all the balls that come out right now, I'm not saying they're all the same. They're not by any means, yeah. but. You, very rarely will you see us go out shoot a ball video and be like, oh my god, Tony is lofting the left gutter with this ball. They're going to put us in the same part of the lane. You'll find that Dustin and I are a little further in than maybe Curly. Um, and Cody, even though he's two-handed, you'll see him actually a little bit further right and a little bit more in the track part of the lane because his ball speed's so high. So we're all kind of in the same part of the lane with everything we throw. It's just where we're seeing that motion. Like Dustin said, we may see something roll really early. And sometimes for Dustin, if you if you look at rev rate, ball speed, that type of thing, you'll see balls roll great for Dustin, and you can tell that I'm kind of in between on it. And that's just because of the surface or where we're seeing the ball read the lane. So that can help also. You may see, say, oh, I'm closer to Dustin, and he really liked the green quantum and that looked like it was rolling out a little for Tony and that's that could be the truth we don't we throw everything out of box we don't alter it it is what it is when we throw it so yep good question all right upcoming releases 328 I should say upcoming release but 328 we have the uh, Columbia impulse solid it's weird that there's only one yeah we're gonna get a little break in the action I, I like that ball it's really good yeah I miss that all right, contest. Remember, BowlingBall.com gives away a ball each and every week. Just click the 52-week, 52, 52 winners image on the right side of every page on BowlingBall.com to register. And remember, that contest does reset each week, so sign up every week. Bowling Boards <coughs> also gives away a bowling ball each week. Head over to BowlingBoards.com, register, and make at least one post per week to enter. You can also head over to their Facebook page and enter that way. Once again, every week rolls over, so make sure you sign up. And Pyramid Bowling does a weekly giveaway on their Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Pyramid Bowling. And they give away all kinds of product, ball, bag, shoes, packages, all kinds of stuff. So check that out. That also resets each and every week. If you'd like to contact us, please do send your questions. Email us at questions at talkbowling.com. You can find us at facebook.com slash talkbowling. Twitter is at talkbowling. And you can leave a comment on talkbowling.com. Alright. I we're gonna do our best here. <laughs> Last week's question of the week. <laughs> what is the lowest series ever bowled in league that includes a three hundred game? It's unbelievable. Do you wanna say it? Or do you wanna say it? <laughs> I don't think I can say it. <laughs> so Reed Townley in January nineteen eighty nine in Gadsden, Alabama. Shot a 476 with a 300. That was 89-87. I'm impressed that he brought back the series <laughs> and shot 300. He was on I pace. mean, he was on pace for less like than 200. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'm good at math. But, <laughs> all right, so here's the only reason I'm laughing, because I truly feel in, in my heart of all hearts that Reed is not a bowler. I think the 300 was a... I don't think he was a... I don't think he's a 220 guy. Here's that, my thought. I think, you're, I think you're wrong there. I think he is about a 160 average bowler. No. Who had... You know, you have those nights where you just... Everything you throw is a split. Or you but, leave a temp and you miss every single one. Right, but if you... Even if and there's... And then he had the best game of his life. Carried everything. Shot 300. Not, even if he goes... Seven count split in every frame and doesn't touch another pin at the second right. attempt, he shoots 70. Well, what if he had PBA four count every time? <laughs> but he never touched another pin. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This guy is, 
he got talked in the bowling league with his friends or his <laughs> wife or something. He was probably using a house ball, house shoes, average, average, oh my God, I just shot 300. See, that makes me more mad than if he was a 160 average baller. Well, congratulations, Reed. Reed, I want you to know that if you're, if you're out there, we want to interview Contact you. Contact us. I do want to interview you. We want to know the truth. You can be on Talk Bowling. Like, we'll do a phone conversation. Phone conversation with Reed. It's coming. And... 89. I figure he know. was probably in his... We'll say average. Say he's in his late 30s and 89. So, I mean, crap, what is he? He's only 60-something. <laughs> no, he's not 60. What if he was 70? Well, he may have been 60. What if he was 70? The guy would have a heart attack. He was 89, 87, 300, dead. <laughs> Man, there was a, like an 80 something year old that just shot 800. Right, but again, I think he was a bowler. Yeah, but so was Reed. He no, just wasn't no, very we good, but he either. had. You bowled a 300, Reed. No one can take that from you. <laughs> Wear that ring, I hope you, Yeah. This week's question of the week, hopefully it's not as ridiculous as that. Who was the first bowler to shoot a 300 with both hands? Two separate 300s, one with each hand. That's not two-handed bowling. That's he bowled one with the left hand. That's not start a debate. Right hand. One with the right, one with the left. At the like, same night? No. Just in general, in, in, in life. life. Yeah. There's been some really I good bowlers. Guys. Yeah, I know. Locally. Oh, really? What was his name? Uh, Alderman. Remember him? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, What's his name? Howard Alderman. Robert Lawrence. He used to be a pro. Robert Lawrence, Lawrence, yeah. For Brunswick. He has 800s with both hands. I'm going to talk to him about that. I didn't know That's that. That's impressive. Yeah. It's really good. I could average 150 left hand, I think. I may end up being a lefty if this goes south. <laughs> In closing, just please punch remember, the ball down the line. Just, yeah, I'll just get a ramp. Please remember that bowlingball.com is free shipping on every item every day. No hidden handling fees, no packaging fees. No added insurance fees and no minimum purchase. The price shown is the price you pay at checkout. Bowlingball.com. It's where bowlers go.